guys and girls. In this video, I'm going to be giving the Steel 036 a basic service and tune. With all the extreme weather in Australia lately, it gives me confidence knowing my tools are serviced and in working order. Winter is coming and firewood is an affordable option to keep your family warm. I also take a chainsaw with me whenever I go forward driving in case of an emergency. For this service, I will need rags, chainsaw tool or scrunch, quarter inch spinner handle or driver with eight millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver, carburetor and throttle body cleaner, magnetic parts tray, and an empty hardware container. From my experience, the majority of two straight power tools that I have worked on that won't start or operate correctly have fueling issues. This can be stale or contaminated fuel the carburetor requiring servicing or rebuilding, and the fuel-air mixture and idle screws not being adjusted correctly. Once the old fuel is drained, I remove the rear cover, then the air filter. This will give me access to the carburetor. I remove the nuts that secure the carburetor, then disconnect the fuel line and swing the choke linkage out of the way. Next I hold the throttle lever wide open and lift the linkage to disconnect it. Now I can remove the carburetor. I remove the rubber grommet, then the four screws in the end cover of the carb. Under the end cover is the metering diaphragm. I always inspect this part, checking that it is flexible and operates correctly. If the diaphragm is rigid and has lost its flexibility, it is crucial that it is replaced to allow the carburetor to deliver fuel correctly. After I clean the end cover and diaphragm with carb cleaner, I put them aside. I check the control lever is functional and the collar screw is tight. Once the valve assembly is cleaned, I begin to reassemble the parts, starting with the metering diaphragm. These pins locate the diaphragm and end cover, preventing them from being installed incorrectly. I tighten the four screws in opposing pairs to apply even tension across the end cover while being careful not to over tighten. Next I move to the opposite side of the carburetor and remove the screw that secures the end cover. This gives me access to the gasket and pump diaphragm which I then remove and clean. I inspect the strainer and passages in the body of the carburetor for any obstructions. After the fuel pump assembly is cleaned, I begin to reassemble the parts, starting with the pump diaphragm. These holes accept the end cover pins and screw, preventing the diaphragm and gasket from being installed incorrectly. I secure the end cover while being careful not to over tighten the screw, then hold the throttle plate open and finish cleaning the inside of the carb. Before reinstalling the carburetor, I clean the manifold opening, then complete the removal process steps in reverse. The throttle linkage is dropped into place and the fuel line connected. I secure the carb by tightening the nuts firmly by hand, then swing the choke linkage back into place. Next I clean the air filter and remove any sawdust using the old fuel and hardware container. While the filter dries, I adjust the low and high speed carburetor screws. The factory settings for these screws are included on the rear cover. I 
I turn the low speed screw clockwise all the way in, then counterclockwise out, one full turn. I adjust the high speed screw the same way, winding it all the way in, then back out, one full turn. Next, I turn the idle speed screw counterclockwise until it is set just past halfway out. After checking the spark plug boot is fitted securely, I reinstall the air filter and rear cover. A chainsaw has one major safety feature, so it is crucial that it functions correctly. I rotate the chain on the guide bar, then engage the chain brake, locking the clutch drum with a steel band. This secures the chain, and once released, I move on. Finally, I add fresh two-stroke fuel, and this completes the service and tune of the O36 chainsaw. Now it's time to test how it starts and runs. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you later.